So at the moment we find ourselves in a post removal of worker tag from the master node in Kubernetes. And when you do that, strange things happen. So one of them, of course, is your master doesn't work as a worker anymore. Fantastic, but the pods that it was running. Well, they are a completely different story. So let's examine. We're going to our resources here over, and we will see what's going on. So the overview will show that the core is pretty much fine, right? Oh no, our core is not fine. So let's figure it out. We'll go to our deployments and then we'll go to our pods and see. Okay, so we have several pods on a master. Actually, not so, not too many of those, right? And then we have the IDM and CDF and everything else. It failed, right? All of those are failed. So let's go and delete them. Delete this one, yes, please. And no worries, if you'll check the master node, you'll see that the actual weird uh, strings over here, right? Random strings, they are not matching whatever we're deleting. So we just do a little bit of a cleanup because, well, uh, you know, sometimes cleanups are required. What can you do? All right, we go to our next one and probably we should have been pressing on the pods button, but that's completely fine. Sweet installer front end. Yes, delete it as well. Yes, please. So we're gonna do it one by one. And yeah, let's, I prefer to do it from the pods menu over here. Can I show like hundreds of them? No, <laughs> I can show only what, 12, 10, not really. Okay, let's remove this one. Yes, delete please. Okay, so it's a little bit slower. I probably, there is a command line interface to do just that. But you know what? Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. We'll do it from here because we already found it over here and it's not too much of a throwable. I mean, it's not that we are going to process tens of those or hundreds of those, right? So basically we are done with the core and the other one is going to be Ops Bridge, the actual suite. So you'll find that this one is heavier, much heavier, All right? So there we go. So those are real, but uh, I want to delete them nevertheless. And it will just recreate them from, uh, from its repository. So I'm not worried about them. The ones that we did delete previously, I don't remember, terminated, yes. And then we'll delete that one as well. So the ones that we deleted previously, they were just junk sitting in the background and it wasn't cleaned up. We're not sure why, but what we need to do here is delete them as well. And then we'll see if it actually has any effect on the disk space. Okay, so let's see how many of those pods are. Yes, everything is in running. Running. So we still have those two with a problem. Uh, but what I wanted to know is what is the effect of those, those deletes on the local disk space. And probably not that much, if at all. Not really sure. No, no, no effect at all. Well, but at least it looks a little bit cleaner over here. And let's just see that we don't have any unintended consequences. 
by running list of all of our pods and let's see yes everything is still running and let's see our OBM we will see okay yes okay, no problem okay. let's see how severe the problem is if there is a problem in general and seems that everything is fine so this is how you clean up your CDF item platform or Kubernetes environment. All right, failed to get a response from network. Yeah, that's uh, I made, I made this problem. That's okay, my fault. So I'm gonna fix that right now, and I'll see you in the next one.